This is the belt. You know why I put them on there? Why I put the numbers on there? No. <coughs> but if you get in a place where it's dark on the stage, you can't see the numbers on there. So I mark them. singing for the people, making the people feel good, and make myself feel good. Whenever I get on the stage and I do something, I feel like I've done something, you know, to somebody. But when the person say he never had the blues, he wrong. He wrong. Everybody done had the blues. You believe me when I tell you. I had to go to work in the morning. You got a flat tire, and you know your boss is going to say something to you by being late. You got the blues. You had the blues back right then, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody help me, please. My woman would walk off and leave me and say she didn't love me no more. I got the blue. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the blue. <laughs> Hard time, mistreatment. That's the blue, man. You better believe me, that's the blue. <laughs> It was a seemingly odd pairing, I suppose. I was looking for a singer and ended up finding a great harp player and a singer who was his own thing. to the sidetrack up in Poughkeepsie. And I saw him at the jam there. And I brought a little tape recorder with me because you never know, sometimes you get too caught up with shit in your own head. You don't even hear it. You don't even know what's going on. So anyway, I went up to hear him and I only heard like a song or two when I, and I rolled the tape. And before he was even done with the two songs, I was ready to, ready to leave just because it was too incredible. Mississippi. Oh, I don't know. Where'd you get your first harmonica? My father bought me a harmonica when I was eight years old. So many days. 
Since you went away, I've always thought of you each night and day. It's uh, it's the soul, the tone, the sound, the phrasing. I mean, you got it or you don't. And he was born with it, and he grew he grew up suffering for real. And I can relate to suffering. Growing up in New York City, you know, my childhood wasn't great, but Sammy hasn't even told me the stories of what it was like in Mississippi. <laughs> just because it's music or it's because I love to wallow in pain and I get a certain, there's a certain joy you get from, you know, the pain of it. Or if it's just the music, I don't know. But if it's about pain, then that must be why he's got that tone. But he's, t he's turned pain into joy. I mean, he's a happy, joyful, lucky guy. I mean... <laughs> I walked by the juke joint. I peeped in the door. I saw my baby stand there doing the boogie woogie. Loud in the middle of the floor. Told me to come to see her this morning. All about the break of day. First harmonica? Did you want one or he just happened to give it to you? No, I wanted one. Why did you want one? Because I heard somebody else playing one. Huh? Okay, who'd you hear playing it? Sonny Boy William. Where'd you hear him play it? Mm hmm? We bought the record. The record? Mm hmm. We bought the record for me. So you had a record player back in those oh, days? Oh, yeah, one of them Twisted Tail. Explain yeah. what the, how the records were back then as opposed to now. How, how, how were the records? Well, you could almost turn a car around on me, do it? <laughs> Seven, eight. <laughs> you ever see that dick before? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, you ever see that dick before? No. No. <laughs> I'm getting 10 years old now. I go to town. Because I'm born in the country. I go to town and start playing on the street. And I'd have a circle of people from, from here to, to that lot over there. A circle around me. They used to call me Little Sonny Boy. I could blow it, boy. <laughs> Where I am now. I always took care of myself. Always kept me a job of some kind. Doing something, working on the railroad. I done something, everything you just be done, I guess. Besides so drive a train, I fly an airplane. <laughs> and 
Yes, sir. <laughs> I built, let me see, I built four houses in Florida by myself. I used to work at Fabby Block in, uh, in Poughkeepsie there. I worked there about eight and nine years, long out of late block and put in all. Uh, and I was just here during the time uh, when I was, well, I was cook playing for 25 years. And uh, the same was during the time that uh, that I, I was, you know, about one job here, one job there, you know, playing at night, you know. So that's the way that happened. I know how to lay break. I know how to be proud of you. I know how to do most any kind of work, you know what I mean, that uh, supposed to be done. Why did you quit for 25 years? My wife passed away. You know, I quit playing for about 25 years. So that's the way that went down. And uh, by the places that I, like I tell these guys, so you know, this, that, and the other, the many some places you can go that uh, you can't do what you're doing, you know what I mean? Just that and other, you know. If anybody else feeds shorty, if anybody else feeds shorty, shorty has got to go. Now he wearing my ten dollar tie, shorty has got to go. And he got my last pair of warm underwear, so shorty has got to go. You notice a lot of people that play hard, they only play that introduction in the out if they're playing by themselves. They don't get the background or not like I do. Because they don't have to win. Because they smoke, they do everything else. <clears throat> they don't have to win to just sing and play like me. You know, because a lot of people just, if they're playing the harp and singing, you hear them every once in a while play the harp, you know? I see, they don't integrate it. No. Nice hat, Sam. Uh, nice hat. How yeah, about that? Man, I like that. Well, you should know he's known for his hat, I know, Sam. man. He's known for his hat. How long you been, how long you been at the hat, Sammy? How long I've been with the hat? Yeah. Ever since I can remember. Every, okay. <laughs> is that is that a requirement to be a blues a blues person? Well, blues some man? folks say yeah, and some folks say no. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know what I mean? Anybody can be the blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
God bless everybody. When Sammy's doing a song, I follow Sammy. I go with Sammy no matter what. I don't care where he's going, I'm going with him. If you wanna, if you wanna play the song the so-called right way, you know, the way you think it goes, go ahead, but you're gonna be playing another song. So I'll be going with him. <laughs> Negativity emanates from his body whatsoever. He's one of those people that you hear about that, like, like in the Bible. <laughs> I mean, like animals come up to him and stuff. He's like just a friendly soul, you know. Me? That's another story. <laughs> they want to fucking kill me. <laughs> so let's go eat some lunch, all right? Holding our 
out your hand And get me a woman You get you a man But now she's gone And I don't work I don't sit on top of the world Nine thousand miles, seventy-seven, uh, four eighty, I believe it is, four sixty, and uh, it's like a top. You know what I'm talking about? What What's the problem with the top now? <laughs> what top? <laughs> it's not running like a top now. What, oh well, what I had it, well, I had to. I it was sitting for a month or two. How but, come? Blues, baby. I had the blues. I had to take it off the road. <laughs> I had a bad case. Automotive blues. It wasn't getting good to me, in other words. Whoops. Any minute now. Fuck with my woman. Call with my kid. Welcome, wrinkled in gray. Oh, no, what? That's, all, that's Frankie Lane? Yeah. I'm too young to remember that. You know. But that old song has nothing to do but run around happy all day. You didn't think I remember that, no? The Lord above, won't you know I'm trying tears all in my eyes. Sing my To paradise, show me the road, take me across, wash all my troubles away. While that lucky old son has nothing to do but run around happy. Well, I'm going to just get another 